after some time, I decided I wanted to get back into teaching because I had a music school and I was kind of managing things. And I'm like, I'm going to try out this YouTube thing because I wanted to do something that allowed me to reach out to people, help people with music, which was kind of like my passion, but didn't require me to be stuck to like a building or a space. Like Monday at 3 p.m. I had to be there because life was getting kind of crazy as a business person. And I said, I'm going to try this YouTube thing. So I went to my music school. I had my phone because I didn't even have a professional camera. I didn't even have a microphone. It was just like I set up the phone on a tripod and I pressed record and it was the worst. The video was horrible. It was grainy. It was dark. I uploaded my first video, super excited, and I got one view. And it was probably me because I wanted to make sure that I uploaded the video correctly and that everything was working fine. So that's how YouTube started. It wasn't like the glamour and glory that you see today. It was a lot of hard work in the beginning.